So, like, now that you're a hot piece of ginger ass with a huge cock, aren't you, like, isn't isn't the reinforcement that you get kind of mind-fucking you? Like, it's like, you're like, oh, I'm a hot piece of ass, I can do whatever I want. Like, you can see where, if, if, you, were, if you were 11, and everybody treated you the way that they treat you now, and then you did 40 years doing that, you could see why you would feel a certain way, right? So we, like, yeah. we like make fun of attractive people because they're vapid and they're whatever, but it's like, there are certain elements of their personality that they might not have had to develop because they haven't had the struggles of yeah. being ugly at some point. We were ugly as kids. Like oh, at least we thought we were. We thought we were ugly. And so that's why we're great. You know what I mean? And so it's like if if ever if your whole life is like constant reinforcement, you're like, oh, I'm perfect the way that I am. So there's faults with everything. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh yeah. So it's like you're fucked up if you think that you were ugly as a child and you're fucked oh, up yeah. if you think that you were beautiful as a child. There's nothing in society that will happen that will make you a, 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 a well-adjusted, engaged person. Everything's fucking us up. Exactly. I completely <laughs> agree. And I think part of the reason why it's taken me so long to like when people tell me I'm beautiful to actually let myself believe that is from a very young age. Being a ginger, I was bullied mercilessly. Yeah, I was treated like garbage. I was ugly. I was all of these things that I then became to believe. And now I'm undoing all of those years and years. And even when I was married, I was like, I'm ugly and I'm this and that. And part of that was due to that shame and that thing I was hiding. Yeah. It, it made me feel ugly on the inside. So how could I be not ugly on the outside?